Audio Jungle. everyone welcome to my new video today i will show you how to configure redistribution in juniper router as you can see here i have two products i have two juniper routers and i have one router from cisco and we have two cisco switch so here we will configure this lab after that as you can see we have different protocol i have uh, ospf protocol and the static root so here we will configure all these uh, all these uh, protocols, and uh, we will configure also the the interfaces. After that, to make reachability between this host to the to this host, okay. So we will do the redistribution on this uh, router because uh, this is a router uh, configured by two protocol OSPF and uh, static root. So let's start to configure. Uh, the IP so we will start with the Juniper router let's access to Juniper router so here I need to access to set interface giga 00 giga 003 unit 0 with family inet address with 10 001 as a gateway slash 24 so the same so I will put it 11, okay, 11, 1, but slash 30, okay. So here need to change also the uh, the interface giga 002, okay. So uh, here it's okay. Start with IPs. After that, need to access in second router. Need also to configure the address. So set interface giga 00 two with unit zero family inet address address here is eleven zero zero two slash thirty the same so same one we have twelve one slash thirty with giga zero zero three I mean this uh, interface okay so set okay and commit okay then we will go in the Cisco router. Okay, so here we have Cisco router. So let's copy. So we have in the Giga Fast Ethernet, Fast Ethernet 0 with IP address 12002 255255252552. Now shut down. Also in the interface F0 over 1. F0 over 1 slash 0 with IP address 13001255255250 no shut down just uh, make reachability between I will ping to 12002 to confirm this I can ping this interface from this interface just the neighbor so the ping success okay so let's start now uh, to configure to configure the uh, routing protocols we will start with the juniper router as the, the ospf we will configure the ospf so set uh, routing option okay a router id i will give the router id so i will give 10 0 sorry 10 0 1 okay then i will access to protocol ospf with area zero okay under interface giga zero zero three and giga zero zero two commit let's to confirm ospf is enabled show ip root as you can see here we have the address multicast responsible for sending routing or lsdp to uh, the neighbor by uh, 224.005 okay so this is okay here so let's uh, jump to to second router okay the same the same so here but here we will configure the OSPF just in one side just under the giga 002 okay so here what I will do so I will set a routing option okay routing option here uh, router ID okay router ID so I will give us 11002 okay and also set 
protocol OSPF with area 000, but just in one interface, just under interface, giga 00, giga 002. Okay, but here need to uh, make the static route to C1300. How can do it? So set uh, routing option. Okay, routing option. Uh, static root okay what is the static root is 1300 okay slash 24 by the next hop the next hop what is it is 12002 okay 12002 so this is okay now commit as you can see now if you show root okay we have the new root as a static as you as you know the the preference or uh, how can I say administrative distance is five okay in the static okay so let's now to configure in the cisco router we will do ip root ip root uh, i will make the default default uh, the default root okay zero 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 with mask zero 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 the next hop is twelve zero zero one now, if you checking the routing table in the Cisco router, show IP root, okay. So we have static default root, okay, as preference or administrative is one, okay. So now we need to uh, make the IPs here, IP address or IP 10.0.0.2.255.255.255.0 with gateway 10.0.0.1, okay. This is the first router then go in the ip 13002255255255001 okay if you are now testing the ping to the gateway 13001 so ping is successful if you ping to 10002 to this pc okay to this host okay you cannot 10000 Two. So as you can see here, timeout. Okay. So if you checking also in this router VMX, this one, run show show root, we cannot see the 13. Okay. Why? Because here we have uh, in this router two protocols. We have OSPF protocol and static root. So in this case, we will enable redistribution for. Uh, export our uh, our uh, our routing okay our routes okay so let's uh, let's to enable the redistribution when uh, we're in the VMX VMX uh, number two or the second router in Juniper so let's start so we will put it set okay set policy policy option okay set policy option after that policy statements so here I will give this uh, the name of the policy statement because I will enable it under the OSPF. So let's do the OSPF, for example, export, export. Okay. After that, need to uh, give the term. Okay. The term. What is it? The term here. Uh, I will uh, put it as a redistribution. For example, redis red red redistribution okay uh, ospf for example ospf okay okay then then what we will do okay here i will mention the root filter because i will use the root filter okay so here in use filter i will specify our uh, network is 13000 slash 24 when you press the enter as you can see here i will I will give him uh, the exact okay exactly match the, the prefix okay exact no problem after that I need to mention uh, the uh, the type of protocol from protocol so here as you can see we have many protocols in this case we are using uh, OSPF with uh, with the static root okay so here I will mention the static okay commit after that we will go to the uh, I will uh, I will accept our our uh, our uh, our traffic okay I will accept it so here the term export sorry here after the term then accept 
So here I will accept our policy, okay? Accept. Then we will go in the under OSPF and apply our OSPF export or our or our uh, policy statement, okay? Our policy statement. Let's go in the set uh, OSPF or edit edit OSP protocol OSPF, okay? Then if you enter show, as you can see, we have only one interface, Giga002, okay? So I will apply here the our uh, our policy statements, okay? By using the command set export, if you now check, we have we have one uh, policy statement here is the OSPF export, okay? Enter. Then I will commit. Okay, commit. Okay, if you now checking uh, our uh, the routing table here in the VMX one, okay, VMX one. As you can see, this is the old one. If you uh, refresh, show run root. As you can see, we have a new root is 1300. Okay, are using by the external OSPF. Okay, external OSPF. So now, if you test the ping from this host. From the his host is 10002 to 13002. Okay, the ping is successful. As you can see, there is no problem. Also, I will ping from here. Ping to 10002. Now it's successful. This is how to configure the redistribution in the Juniper router with uh, multi product thank you so much for your watching and consideration see you in the next video